Hi there, it's Mrs. Ferris from Wood Library and I'm here with my friend, Count Bukula, who loves to read books, not eat them. Is that right? So we're going to get started with some stories that are spooky, scary, fun. I hope you'll enjoy. Our first book is called Little Boo. It's written by Stephen Wonderly illustrated by Tim Zeltner and published by Henry Holt and Company. And it's about a pumpkin seed. The wind blew, the leaves fell, a tiny seed hid in the garden. Boo, said the seed to the leaf rolling by. You're not scary at all, the leaf said. A grub was burrowing in the soil nearby. Boo, said the seed. I'm busy, said the grub. The sea sighed and it began to get cold. A snowflake fell close to the seed and then another and another. Boo, 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 said the seed. There's more of us than you, the snowflakes whispered back. Why would we be scared of you? Poor seed. It's not time for scaring, the wind said. Not yet. Be patient. You'll be scary soon enough. I want to be scary now, the seed said, trying to make himself big. Just wait, the wind whispered, carefully blowing soil over the seed to keep him from the cold. The sea sighed one last time and finally fell asleep. Boo, he said in his dream. It was a very long sleep and when the seed awoke, the air was warm above him. He reached for it, reached and reached until he could feel it. Ah, the seed said, time to get back to scaring. The seed was growing into a tender little sprout. Boo, said the little sprout to an old boot. But the boot didn't say anything back. Boo, he said to a shovel. But the shovel was silent. Boo, said the little sprout to the watering can. But the watering can didn't say a word either. So the young little sprout decided to keep growing. The wind came by for a visit. Boo, said the sprout, who was now a little plant, and he was proud of how big he'd gotten. Not today, said the wind, but soon, soon. The little plant kept growing and sometimes tried to scare the bucket and the bees or a grasshopper. Boo, boo. Boo, he said, but none of them were the least bit afraid. So the plant began, that began as a seed grew and grew and grew, and soon little orange flowers appeared. Flowers aren't very scary, he thought, but then the flowers fell away and the little green fruit began to grow. They grew fast. Can I boo now? The plant asked the wind. Not quite yet, said the wind. The little one round green fruit grew much bigger than the others, and then it turned orange. A pumpkin. Boo, said the pumpkin to the hands that picked it, but they weren't scared as they carried the pumpkin to the house. The wind shut the door behind them. I'll be right here, the wind said. Well, darkness crept in above the trees. There was no moon. A single candlelight appeared in the night. Boo, said the pumpkin that was now a jack-o'-lantern. Yow, said the cat. Good scaring, said the wind. Do it again. Boo, said the jack-o'-lantern. Ah, screamed the goblins. Ooh-wee, said the wind, whirling around the bare trees and stirring up the leaves. What wonderful scaring. They 
like you, said the jack-o'-lantern, who used to be only a seed. Boo, boo, boo. And the light from the jack-o'-lantern's grin flew over the trees and spread across the night. So he just had to wait and grow, didn't he? Well, should we do a uh, uh, finger play about some pumpkins? I think five of them would be a good number. There were five little pumpkins sitting on the gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, ah, we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, hoo hoo, we'll have lots of fun. But then, ooh, went the wind and out went the light and the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Well, were you scared by that pumpkin? I don't think I was. But we're gonna have a story about some ghosts who want to go scary now. This is written by Chrissy Bozick and illustrated by Patricia Storms. And it's published by Sky Pony Press. Looks like a happy ghost, doesn't he? Oh, he went to his mailbox. He got an invitation. It's a party, he read. And then he started to sing. The ghosts go scaring one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring one by one, the little one stops to have some fun. Whee! And they all go scaring out in the night to cause a big fright. Boo, 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 boo. The ghosts go scaring two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring two by two, the scary one stops to shout out, boo. And they all go scaring out in the night to cause a big fright, boo, boo. Boo, 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 boo. The ghosts go scaring three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring three by three. And the silly one stops to wink at me. And they all go scaring out in the night to cause a big fright. Boo, boo, boo. Boo, 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 boo. The ghosts go scaring four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring four by four. The brave one stops to knock at the door. And they all go scaring out in the night to cause a big fright. What did he say? Trick or treat. Boo, boo. Boo, 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 boo. The ghosts go scaring five by five. Hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring five by five. Hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring five by five. The wiggly one stops to dance the jive. Do the bunny hop. <laughs> and they all go scaring out in the night to cause a big fright. Boo, 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 boo. The ghosts go scaring six by six. Hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring six by six. Hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring six by six. The clever one stops to do some tricks. Ta-da! And they all go scaring out in the night to cause a big fright. Boo, 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 boo. The ghosts go scaring seven by seven. Hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring seven by seven. Hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring seven by seven. The crafty one stops for a carving lesson. And they all go scaring out in the night to cause 
a big fright. Boo, 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 boo. The ghosts go scaring eight by eight, hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring eight by eight, hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring eight by eight. The tricky one stops to creak the gate. Creak, creak, creak. And they all go scaring out in the night to cause a big fright. Boo, 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 boo. The ghosts go scaring nine by nine. Hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring nine by nine. Hurrah. Hurrah, the ghosts go scaring nine by nine. The noisy one stops to howl and whine. ah -oh. And they all go scaring out in the night to cause a big fright. Boo, 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 boo. The ghosts go scaring ten by ten. Hurrah, hurrah. The ghosts go scaring ten by ten. Hurrah. Hurrah, the ghosts go scaring 10 by 10. The bouncy one stops to shout again. And they all go scaring out in the night to cause a big fright. Boo, 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 well, there were five little ghosts who were jumping on the bed. One fell off and oh, he bumped his head. So his mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more little ghosts jumping on the bed. So four little ghosts were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So his mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more little ghosts jumping on the bed. So three little ghosts were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So his mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more little ghosts jumping on the bed. So two little ghosts were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So his mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more little ghosts jumping on the bed. So that means one little ghost was jumping on the bed. When she fell off, oh, she bumped her head. So her mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more little ghosts jumping on the bed. So there are no more little ghosts. See, shall we brew up a little bone soup? This is a story, a spooky, tasty tale, it says, by Alyssa Satin, Captain Chili, and illustrated by Tom Knight. And this book is published by Simon & Schuster Books, a Paula Wiseman book. There's the house. Looks like there might be somebody in there. I see some smoke coming out of the chimney. One Halloween morning, three very hungry witches were looking for a tasty treat. They checked the cupboards to find nothing there. There, said Naggy Witch. Empty, said Craggy Witch. Only a small dry bone, said Scraggy Witch. Only a bone. Only a bone, you say, piff poof. Let's make bone soup, sisters, cackled Naggy Witch gleefully. Bone soup is the perfect Halloween treat. Well, the three witches carried their cauldron. That's a great big pot. Can you see it here? That's their cauldron. And their bone, far and away until they came to a door. Now the witches hadn't even begun to knock when the door groaned open. And there, the scariest looking monster they had ever seen towered before them. It made the witches shiver. 
but alas, they were very hungry. Trick or treat, trick or treat, we've something unusually good to eat. It's bone soup, soup from a bone, said Naggy Witch. Bone soup? Impossible. Go away. There will be time for your tricks later, boomed the monster. Piff poop. It's no trick. A bit of water is all we need, promised Naggy Witch. I'm hungry, Papa, said a little monster as she appeared at the door. Can we make bone soup, please? None of your tricks, boomed the monster. Piff poof, only a treat, Naggy Witch replied. And in minutes, the bone and the water were bubbling inside the cauldron. Naggy Witch gave the cauldron a stir and she took a small taste. Oh, bewitching, she said. If only we had something savory. Well, that's all it needs, but where can we find it? Look, another door, said Craggy Witch. So the three witches who, well, they hadn't even begun to knock when that door opened with a hiss. And there was the spookiest ghost that they had ever seen. It floated right before them. It made the witches tremble, but alas, they were very hungry. Trick or treat, trick or treat, we've something unusually good to eat. It's bone soup, soup from a bone. A savory morsel is all it needs. Bone soup? Impossible. Go away. There will be time for your tricks later, called the ghost. Piff poof. It's no trick, it's a treat, says Gregory Witch. Well, as the ghost was feeling a bit hungry himself, a most savory eye of a giant was soon bubbling in the cauldron. Be dazzling, said Naggy Witch after a small taste. If only we had something crunchy. And with that, the eeriest of ghouls brought forth a long, crackly lizard's tail. And piff poof, into the cauldron it goes, cried Naggy Witch. Well, an unusual scent began to waft through the air now. Doors creaked open. Windows squeaked wide too. Beguiling, said Naggy Witch, but I wonder, can a tasty tidbit or two be found? Juice of a toad, earthworms, dried dragon wings, drooled a bat. <gasps> Colored flies, hot and sweet, snarled a goblin. Sludge, slimy sludge, whispered a mummy. Claws, claws, and more claws, rattled a skeleton. Well, piff. Poof, hypnotizing, murmured Naggy Witch, mixing and stirring, mixing and stirring. Wrinkled fingers, old toenails, where, howled a werewolf. Dead leaves, cobwebs, and the wrinkliest of prunes, streaked a vampire. Well, now, the crowd was growing hungrier and hungrier and hungrier. Bone soup, soup from a bone. This better not be a trick, growled the monster. He was feeling particularly fierce and quite hungry just then. I'll take back that eye, warned the ghost. And the crackly tail, grumbled the ghoul. I won't hang around much longer, sneered the bat. I'll use powers of my own, scowled the goblin. Let's wrap this up now, mumbled the mummy. Don't rattle me further, clattered the skeleton. Ooh, let's go, howled the werewolf. Before it's too late, snarled the vampire, baring his fangs. Bone soup, soup from a bone, they whispered. Bone soup. 
Soup from a bone, they chanted. Bone, soup, soup from a bone, they roared. Wait, I know what it means, called a small voice. You do? asked Naggy Witch. Three taps of your wand, Sir Ragley Witch, said the little monster. So she went tap, tap, tap. Two spins of your broom, Craggy Witch. So she whirl, whirled it. And one wave of your cape, Naggy Witch, if you please. Whoosh! Naggy Witch waved her cape over the bubbling brew and then she mixed and she stirred and she took one more taste. <sniffs> Piff! Poof! Imagine that! Naggy Witch cackled gleefully. Bone soup! And it's ready at last. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! called Naggy Witch. Weave something unusually good to eat. And as the full moon rose in the sky, the three witches filled a steaming bowl of bone soup for all. It was made with ingredients tried and true and some monstrously new. The soup was scary, spooky, eerie, bewitching, bedazzling, beguiling, hypnotizing, and spellbinding. But most of all, piff poof, it was bone chillingly delicious. And if you want to make bone soup at your house, they've given you some ideas for the ingredients that you might want to use to make it delicious. Well, can you pretend you've got a great big cauldron in front of you, great big pot, and it's got a great big spoon sticking out of it? I want you to grab onto that stirring spoon and we're going to stir and make a little brew. Stirring and stirring and stirring our brew. Let's add a little magic. Mm. Mm. Grab that spoon. Stirring and stirring and stirring our brew. A little more magic. Mm. Mm. Scare you? <laughs> I hope not. But these three little ghosties would like to scare you. That's the name of our last book. This is written by Pippa Goodhart and illustrated by Anna Laura Catone. And it's published by Bloomsbury Books. Do you see those little ghosties staring at you? Well, three little ghosties sat on their posties, eating burnt toasties, telling big boasties. Said ghostie number one, I went to scare ghoulsies, sitting in their schoolsies, learning spelling rulesies. Ooh, I went, ooh, 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 boom. And they all dropped their booksies with silly frightened looksies and ran away home to bed. <laughs> Laughed the three little ghosties. Well, said ghostie number two, I scared some mean witches sitting in dark ditches, lipsticking their lipses, plotting evil tricks. I went clank, clank, shiver, shake, boo! And they jumped with their frighties and flew off in their nighties to hide in the deep, dark woods. He <laughs> he laughed the three little ghosties. Ghostie number three said, I scared a huge ogre as six as big treesies 
standing in the breezes, picking at his fleeces. I spooked him with a moan, groan, boo! And he galumped through the woodses, the fastest he couldses. I want my mommy, he said. He <laughs> laughed the three little ghosties. Then the three little ghosties, all sitting on their posties, had finished their burnt toasties. Said ghostie number one, now what shall we do for a bit of fun? Let's go haunting and scare some girlsies. Yeah, and boysies too. So they flew off their posties and came wailing, sailing, flailing down to my house. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They ghosty slither slid through the window cracksies and creaked, pushed open my door. They thought I was asleep, so they started to creep. Creepy, creepy, whisper, whisper, closer, closer. They opened their mouths and I sat up in bed and shouted, boo! Help, yelled the ghosties as they tumbled, tangled, fled out of my bedroom and into the night. Quivering like jellies, those three little ghosties wobbled on their to their posties, sucking their thumbsies, waiting for their momsies who came and caught and scolded them and sent them home to bed. The end. <laughs> well, can you wiggle your fingers? and wiggle your toes, wiggle both of your shoulders, and don't forget your nose. Can you wiggle your elbows and slap your knees? Stretch your arms way out and get ready, please, for the flannel board. So for our flannel board story today, we're gonna to need some ghosts. One, Three, four, and I hope there's room. Five. Five little ghosts went out one night, haunting, spooking. Oh, what a fright. Mother ghost said, boo, 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 boo. But back to the house only. Four ghosts flew. Four little ghosts went out one night, haunting, spooking. Ooh, what a fright. Mother ghost said, boo, 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 boo. But back to the house, only three ghosts flew. Three little ghosts went out one night, haunting, spooking. Ooh, what a fright. Mother ghost said, boo, 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 boo. But back to the house only two ghosts flew. Two little ghosts went out one night, haunting, spooking. Ooh, what a fright. Mama ghost said, boo, 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 boo. But back to the house only one ghost flew. So one little Ghost went out one night, haunting and spooking. Oh, what a fright. Mother ghost said, boo, 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 boo. And back to the house, not one ghost flew. So sad, mother ghost went out that night, haunting and spooking. Oh, what a fright. Mother ghost said, boo, boo. Boo-hoo. And back to her, all five ghosts flew. 
And do you know what they said when they got there? I bet you do. Boo. Well, those are our spooky, scary, fun stories for today. And I want to thank you all for joining me. Did you want to say goodbye? Did you? Yes. And what did you want to say? He wants to bite your book. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.